Imagine asking a robot to sort your laundry, and instead of just blindly following one instruction, it actually pauses, thinks through what it sees, and then decides what to do next. That's not sci-fi anymore. This is what Google's Gemini Robotics 1.5 just pulled off and it's blowing my mind. For years, robots were like goldfish with a to-do list. One instruction, one action. Put the banana in the bowl. Over and over, useful but dumb. Now, robots can think while they act. They can chain tasks together, improvise when things change, and even make little micro decisions that no one trained them for. Here's the wild part. You can literally see the robot's thought process as it works. In one demo, Apollo the robot was asked to sort laundry. First, it planned where to put the dark blue pants. Yep, black bin. Then it reached for a white cloth with its left hand, carefully adjusted the bin so it could grab it better, and kept going. Nobody told it to do that. It just figured it out on the fly. That's a level of reactivity and problem solving that feels scarily close to how we make decisions. And it's not just laundry. Another robot was told to sort fruits into color matching plates. Banana, yellow plate, green apple, green plate. Sounds simple, but think about it. It had to see, recognize colors, plan the sequence, and then act. That chain of thoughts is what makes Gemini 1.5 so powerful. Suddenly, we're not just looking at machines that execute orders. We're watching them reason their way through reality. But here's the kicker. This isn't one robot, one brain. Gemini 1.5 is a single model powering every kind of robot. Humanoids, arms, assistants, you name it. Normally, companies train a separate model for each machine. Not here. Apollo learned something, Aloha learned something else, and instantly, they all know it. It's like robots are finally sharing a collective brain. Oh, and it gets crazier. These robots can now use tools, digital tools. In one demo, Aloha was asked to sort objects into compost, recycling, and trash bins. But to do that correctly in San Francisco, it needed to know the local rules. So what did it do? It looked them up online, matched the rules with the objects in front of it, and then put everything in the right bins. That's not just following instructions, that's research, reasoning, and execution rolled into one. Now picture this. In the near future, your home robot could help with chores, your retail robot could learn from warehouse robots, and your delivery robot could benefit from the knowledge of all of them at once. They'll be teaching each other new skills without you lifting a finger. Laundry today, packing your suitcase tomorrow, maybe even cooking dinner the day after. Robots that don't just follow commands, but think while they work. Gemini Robotics. 1.5 isn't just another upgrade. It's a full-on leap toward general-purpose machines that feel less like tools and more like partners. The future just showed up in your laundry room, and honestly, it's unreal. So what do you think? Are you excited about robots that can think on the job, or does it freak you out a little? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit like if this blew your mind, and subscribe Technology XAI for more of the craziest tech shaping tomorrow.